Good evening. Welcome to my channel, The Angels of Alchemy. I'm spiritual medium and angelic channel, D. Graywall. And this is going to be your midweek energy update um, for Wednesday and Thursday. So we're looking at the 13th and the 14th of October. I hope you're all having a fabulous week so far. Um, real quick, please be aware there's a lot of scammers about pretending to be other tarot readers. Please know I never reach out to anybody asking them if they were interested in reading. People seek me out. The only way to book a reading with me is through my website, theangelsofalchemy.com. And um, I've got my Facebook and Instagram information in the description box below, as well as my website. And those are the only ways to reach out to me um, to book readings. So just be aware of that. Make sure you're not um, getting caught up in some kind of scam. Those of you who subscribe to my channel, thank you so, so much. Love and appreciate each and every one of you. Those of you new to, new to my channel, welcome. And if the messages resonate, please don't forget to give me a like and thumbs up on the reading and subscribe to the channel. Um, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm uh, posting other reads. Um, so, you know, we are in an interesting time, interesting energy at the moment. If you watched my read from yesterday, we had Pluto station direct on the 6th. And then over the weekend, uh, 10, 10, we had Saturn station direct. So now you have the planet of re uh, death rebirth, as well as the planet of karma, both st station, uh, direct and, um, you know, what we've kind of been working through, where there's been kind of this stagnant energy wrap up of karmic cycles, where there's been a bit of a pause, things are going to start to gain momentum and start to move quite quickly. Um, we will also have Jupiter and Mercury stationing direct on, on the same day, which I believe is either the 17th or the 18th of October. So I think it's very interesting that they're both stationing direct at the same time. You know, Jupiter is the planet of expansion, growth, luck, okay? Um, and Mercury, the planet of communication. So, you know, we still have the post-shadow um, aspect of it. But over the next few weeks, the energy is going to start gaining momentum, okay? And some of the things that we've been reflecting on, pausing on, thinking about, working through, cutting loose, it's, everything's going to kind of amp up now, okay? And move quite quickly. Um, so just, you know, I think, I think what's important to remember right now is that the energy that we've been in, there's been let, very little control that we've had on our end. Um, and I think a lot of the lessons that are coming up and a lot of things that we're facing, we're also learning to really go with the flow, <coughs> not to go against the things that are unfolding, but to try to kind of work with it and go with the flow of it. Um, and I think it's also important to remember the more that you resist, the more things will persist. So it's very important to kind of learn what you need to at this time, release what needs to be released so that you can get unstuck and also moved into that next phase, that next chapter. Um, wrapping up cycles right now is going to be important. We are going to be wrapping up big karmic cycles. Um, and it's important that we do this because we also have two back-to-back -back eclipses coming up. And eclipses are also about a wrap-up of cycles, completions of cycles, you know. Um, so, and, and they're big cycles, big karmic cycles. It's a lot unfolding energetically right now. And I feel, you know, no matter who I talk to, a lot of people are talking about having a lot of confusion, not quite knowing where they stand, you know, struggling to kind of be in the present because people are worrying quite a bit about the future and, um, you know, just trying to find solid ground. I think we've all um, been in this space of trying to find a place where we feel stable, you know, and in a lot of ways, collectively, the energy has been kind of, you know, the rug's been pulled out from beneath your feet and you're trying to find a new way of doing things and moving into different chapters into our life where, you know, ending a lot of things and trying to create uh, different um, 
we're trying to make changes and create a different kind of stability in our life you know we're working through what hasn't worked before and and trying to do things a little differently as well I feel you know due to the fact that we've gone through a lot of changes and a lot of growth so so much is happening and even as I'm looking at the cards you know this feels a, a little heavy in some ways and in other ways um, you know there's a lot to look forward to as well um, so let's go ahead and move into the reading so we're starting out with, and this is what I've just been saying in the beginning is, what do you need to release? Where are you holding on to things that aren't serving you, okay, that is keeping you stuck? What do you need to let go of? What do you need to re release? These are questions that we need to ask ourselves at times. You know, is this situation, is this person, is this habit, is this behavior, is this pattern serving me? Does it do me justice? You know, does it bring positivity into my life or does it hold me back, keep me stuck, bring me down? These are kind of questions we need to ask ourselves because when you answer that question, the answer is already there, right? So we are in the energy kind of, of, of releasing right now, releasing what's heavy, releasing what's burdensome, releasing what's not, uh, not serving us. The very next card we have here is spirit energy and we have the sacred temple this card is talking about um you know the sacred temple within within it's about your connection to source okay um your connection to your higher self your guides your angels to god um whatever it is that you believe in and that sacred temple that is within you and needing to kind of um Give it all up, give it all to God, surrender, let go, take moments to sit in that power and that connection with yourself and with spirit and source, okay? Go within to that inner temple, that sanctuary that's within you, because this is where the support's coming and this is where spirit's trying to come in and help you. Now, this is a five energy, so, yep, five. And so, five is a very heavy energies and I've been feeling that the vibes have been coming up in the readings quite a bit so you know spirit is here to work with you and they're they're co-creators with you with your dreams your goals your projects and your desires but I feel like wherever it is that you're seeking answers outside of you this is a time that you need to seek the answers within you okay go within to the sacred temple within yourself meditate to get the clarity and the direction that you need in order to move forward what is spirit helping you with here well you have the hangman they're helping you to get unstuck they're helping you to be enlightened to see things from a higher perspective okay to get you out of this feeling stuck and out of this heavy energy Spirit's helping you to release what is no longer serving you with the Ten of Wands. Put the burdens down. Get yourself and stop. What are you holding on to that you need to release? Spirit's bringing that into your awareness, supporting you on your path, and helping you to overcome obstacles and challenges so that you can get yourself and stop but also just helping you to see things from a higher perspective helping you to see things from a spiritual perspective i also feel that they're helping you and supporting you with new projects new ideas um something that you'll you'll come to understand if you're somebody who meditates quite a lot you will get a lot of inspiration ideas from meditation so i do get the sense and feeling um <coughs> you have a creative endeavor there's new projects that you need to work on but some of you are just are feeling like i don't know what i need to work on you know and spirit saying tap into you to um your creativity there's a lot of inspiration in your soul free yourself because i also feel like you limit yourself with your potential of what you can actually do you've kind of got yourself in this box and you need to get yourself out see how this woman's looking in the mirror she, how she's standing here is not what she perceives in the mirror and there's like this veil of illusion how she sees herself isn't even a reality so in a way you have the ability to free yourself what's the only thing that's stopping you 
um, is your own thoughts about you and your lack of belief in yourself, your lack of self-confidence I'm feeling as well. So, you know, you're feeling a little stuck right now about, you know, perhaps you're going through kind of a creative block for some of you and feeling like that. And this is where I feel the meditation is going to be very important because this is where source is going to bring you ideas and inspiration. Okay. So you kind of need to sit in stillness and allow these ideas to kind of bubble up to the forefront. You're worried about your future. You're worried about the projects and endeavors that you, you're applying your energy in. If they're going to come into fruition, you're waiting for your ships to come in. You're feeling quite stuck and not really understanding what, you know, direction to take and how to create. I'm feeling there's a block here for some of you. And, you know, I mean, it's true because the very next card, you have stuck energy. So, yeah, you're feeling very stuck. See, needing direction and kind of... But what I'm feeling here is you're seeking all the answers outside of you and you really need to seek, seek the answers from within you because you have what you need. It's here. You're not seeing the beautiful... You know, you're very focused on what's lost or, you know the murky, uh, you know, the murky water, the mud over here, but you're not seeing this beautiful rainbow. You have the ability to get yourself unstuck. Clarifying this, you also have the nine of wands. I feel like, you know, this is the wounded warrior card. <coughs> I feel like you've gone through a lot of battles, a lot of battles with yourself. I feel there's a lot of, uh, there's been a lot of confusion. Um, and conflicts even with others. Um, there's been a lot of hurt and heartache in the past. And um, your your walls and your defenses are up. You're feeling like, I constantly need to protect myself. And, you know, there is a need to kind of release this energy to also forgive your past and bring love into, into your present by releasing the past, by forgiving the past. Okay, so that you can allow yourself to receive all the good things in your life. Because clarifying the stuck energy, you also have the nine of rods and the nine of swords. So two nines, I mean, that's heavy energy right there. You know, nine of swords is sleepless nights, anxiety. Some of you, I feel, are really struggling with your finances and your stability. Um, trying to create a solid foundation and yet you know, just feeling like, you know, I'm constantly trying to fight to get ahead and, you know, things just don't seem to be working out. I'm so uncertain about what direction to go in. I'm feeling really confused and I'm just fed up. I'm feeling this real fed up kind of energy. And clarifying this, you do have the 10 of cups. I do feel there's a cycle that's ended that really wasn't bringing you emotional fulfillment. Some of you, you know, you're feeling stuck. You're trying to create a time in your life, you know, where you have happiness and emotional fulfillment. This is what you want, you know, but you're, you're just feeling stuck on how am I going to accomplish this? A lot of you are struggling with your self-confidence, your self-worth, okay? Some of you, this is feeling stuck because you've been seeking a deeper commitment and a stable relationship. Perhaps you've been single for quite some time because you also have the nine of pentacles, but wanting to come together, wanting union, wanting more stability, wanting emotional fulfillment in your life, okay? Um, but I do feel that you're struggling with creating your abundance, your, uh, your success and your stability, and just feeling torn, feeling like I constantly have to fight to get ahead. When are things going to start moving in my direction? When am I going to have my emotional fulfillment? When am I going to have a happy home and happy life? And I do feel that you need to recognize happiness comes from within. Really start focusing on gratitude, okay? Um, know that you are going to move to a time where there is going to be abundance and stability and emotional fulfillment. But you need to be confident. Some of you, you've kind of been in this energy of independence, always feeling like I need to do it alone. Um, and feeling quite alone, I'm feeling, as I look at this Nine of Swords card, um, you're also releasing situations of the past where you were constantly investing in people, places, and situations that were unfulfilling, 
that um, you got very little from, okay? So I am feeling that there. Um, you, you are moving into a time where you're breaking free, all right? Um, I almost feel like you're, you're kind of at the end of this. The hardest part is actually you've gone through the hardest part. You're overcoming this challenging time. That's the sense of feeling that I'm getting. Um, there, is a, there is a need to see things from a higher perspective and take the lessons that you've learned from the past, okay? Um, you have travel. Now, either you recently went on a trip or there's an upcoming trip where you're going to, I almost feel like there's something coming from this, there's some kind of epiphany, realization, um, or some kind of event that is surrounding this travel that's kind of um, going to lead you to your next step. It's clarifying this, you do have the Ace of Swords. Some of you, I feel like you're having a major epiphany or realization. I also feel there's a truth that's coming to light here. You know, Ace of Swords, is a, it's a card of truth, um, enlightenment, you know, cutting through. Uh, it's also a card of communication, right? Um, it, I feel self-communication, realizing self-truths, okay? Understanding and seeing things clearly, um, getting clarity, okay? Clarity in your vision as well. I just feel like there's some kind of realization or truth that is at the forefront from this travel. This, Because um, clarifying this, you also have the Ten of Pentacles. Um, I feel like there's a, there's a cycle from the past that you're ending. You're, you're seeing the truth of a situation. Okay, I also feel for some of you, there's an end of a relationship, I'm feeling. And for others of you, there's an upcoming trip is going to uh, prove to be quite quite um, abundant. There's going to be success from this trip. There's almost, some, I'm getting the sense and feeling of new opportunities that come to the forefront. There is a new beginning from this trip. So, you know, um, the Hermit card had fallen out as well, but I didn't want to take so many cards. I had quite a few here already. So I do feel that there's this, there's this kind of going within, looking at things from a deeper perspective, gaining some kind of clarity and understanding that is actually going to bring you great rewards um, because you're moving in a new direction. You're closing out what doesn't serve you. You're taking a leap of faith and moving in a new direction. You know, um, I do feel that you're going to be working with certain people that is going to bring in a lot of abundance as well, all right? But there is a new beginning here. When I asked about this new beginning, what is this about? They gave me the four of wands. It's about your stability, okay? This is also a card of marriage. It's a card of twin flames coming together. So I feel that there's also some kind of a deeper understanding that you have about your relationships. There's also a deeper understanding of what stability means for you. What does that look like? You're seeing things from a different perspective in, in that way as well. And when I asked, what is this four of wands about? They gave me judgment. You know, um, I feel where things were unjust and unfair in the past, you know, the universe is kind of putting some kind of wrong to right. There's going to be an opportunity to do something over. Something feels quite fated, feels like it's destiny coming in. Okay. The trumpet is being sounded. It's judgment day. But I, and then I asked, what is this judgment about? They gave to me the Ace of Cups. It's about your emotional fulfillment, unconditional love, love, a romantic love. Okay, divine union. Okay, self-love and self-acceptance. There's some kind of renewal that's taking place through this whole epiphany and realization in this trip that you're taking. But something about love is definitely at the forefront here. For some of you, you know, there's going to be a deeper understanding about your relationships and the people that you choose 
to um, invest your time and energy with. Now, your outcome card is you have milestone. So I do feel you're overcoming the worst of the energy. I feel like you're overcoming obstacles, you're overcoming challenges, you're reaching a great milestone. You know, there, there's been this great awakening, there's been this um, journey, and I feel that you're really at that time where you're coming to a crossroads and there's this brand new chapter that's awaiting you. You know, this it, you're starting a new journey, okay? There's this new beginning on the horizon. Because again, clarifying this milestone, you have the full card. I do feel that you're taking a leap of faith in a new direction. You just, I feel that you're just ready, okay? You're ready to move forward. You're ready to put the burdens down. You're ready to release the past and move to a time in your life <coughs> where you have stability, okay? Because you got the four of ones again. So for some of you, um, you know, you're moving into a more, you're taking a leap of faith, moving into a time where there's greater stability in your life. You know, you're going to, this leap of faith is about you walking towards your wish fulfillment and what's truly fulfilling for you. Clarifying this new beginning, you have the wheel of fortune. So this is, this is fate. This is destiny. This is you winding up exactly where you you were meant to be okay with your stability i'm also feeling divine union for those of you who are single i feel there's a coming together i feel that there's a marriage on the horizon a deeper level commitment but where the wheel wasn't uh, turning in your favor in the past that wheel is moving forward there is a good fortune here there's a turn in events for the positive i'm feeling like where you're going to feel a lot of stability and emotional fulfillment because clarifying the wheel of fortune the full card and this four of wands you have the sun card the sun card is the best card in the deck to get okay because it's happiness it's uh, emotional fulfillment it's joy okay um you're moving into a time where there's going to be a lot of light in your life okay and i feel like this is a great milestone I feel that you're going to be recognized for your accomplishments. There's going to be a lot of success here. Okay, clarifying this, you also have the Hierophant. There's a huge awakening that's happening with the Hierophant and the Sun card here. Okay, um, and I feel a deeper commitment to your path, your destiny. Okay, um, some of you, um, you could be receiving a lot of guidance from uh, people that you look up to at this time, a spiritual teacher, spiritual leader. Um, there's this renewed faith that I'm feeling uh, on your spiritual path, okay? But definitely feeling also a deeper level of commitment coming in for those of you who have been um, single or wanting to be in a relationship that was on a deeper level, there's going to be something that comes in. But this next chapter, there's going to be a lot of celebration and joy because you have the Three of Cups. You know, this milestone, you're going to be celebrating with the Three of Cups here. So really, you know, it, it seems quite heavy in the beginning there, but there really is a, a very positive outcome on the horizon here. And even though things might feel heavy, all of this is actually positive because we're working what needs to be worked through, right? We're overcoming, we're adapting, we're changing, we're growing, we're awakening, okay? So let's go into your guidance cards. You have elephant spirit. It says here, learn from your, from your past, okay? Learn from the past. I feel like you need to look at your past, not with regret, not with woulda, coulda, shoulda, um, forgive yourself for the choices that you made, forgive others, release it, and think about what did I learn from my past, and make sure you're not repeating the same mistakes of the past, okay? Also, be aware, not all that glitters is gold, it says all that glitters, be, be aware of um, facades, deception, okay, things that look glittery on the surface, but when you dig deep, there's a lot of 
um, chaos or deception or darkness and a lot of shadow. Okay, be aware of your thoughts at this time. Um, be aware of your relationships, I feel. Be careful of who you're investing your time and energy with, okay? Um, take off the mask, I'm really feeling. See the red flags on your path. Walk away from anything that is doesn't honor your highest truth. Always remain in your integrity, okay? Um, and then you have the fates. There's something very fated about the next few weeks, I'm feeling. Um, you know, you're being called to your path, being called to your purpose, being called to your destiny. Um, and fulfilling that path, fulfilling that purpose. Okay, there's something very... What's, what's happening here, unfolding, is going to be key. It's going to be extremely important in regards to this next chapter that's coming up in your life. So that's your reading for the midweek. I'm wishing you a blessed and beautiful day. Um, happy hump day. And um, I'll be back soon. Take care. God bless. Namaste.